So hi guys, this is a video on how to replace the brake pads on a Toyota Kluger, known as a Highlander in the US. Uh, we're going to replace the, the rear brake pads, uh, see how easy a job it is. You can see the bolts here and the bolt here. It's holding this it's a caliper or whatever it is. So when you're un trying to untighten that, this is going to move, so we need to hold this in place as well as we do the bolt. It's a 14mm bolt. It's probably the hardest bit. There we go. Once you snap it, it comes off easy. There's the bolt. See that then comes out. So we can do the bottom one. Likewise, we've got to stop this ball of either side from moving. That one was a lot easier. The bottom one was so, so much easier. Okay, pull it out. And this should pull off. Okay, first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that back in straight away. So as I said, in order to push that back in, the easiest way is you need to put the, take the brake fluid reservoir cap off. So we'll quickly do that. I'll show you I've already done that. There it is there, take it off. If you want to get it, best thing to do this is just with a clamp around the back and then just push it back in. 
you can see it slowly just pushed itself back in get it back in there that went in real easy so we'll just temporarily put that there it's not too heavy okay time to take the pads off Came off easy, because that's the old one. Put a new one back on. It's uh, in some Bendix pads. These are pretty good ones. There were $80 for these. The new ones have this blue stripe in it, which apparently makes it easier so that when you're bedding them in, when you're first using them, they apparently grip a lot easier when you first start using them. Looking at the old and the new, see the difference. There's still a bit of life left in them. Definitely a bit. I reckon the car's done 60,000 kilometers. So 60,000 kilometers, you'd easily get another 10,000 kilometers out of that. Definitely 10,000. But still, it's time to time to replace them. Getting, they are getting low. So. Put it in like that, so simple. Do the back one. You can see this one has this little clip on it there. Which I don't have on my new one, so I'm going to take this off and put it on. So. What does this actually do? I have no idea, but. Hey, if you want to let me know, by all means do so. So that's where it goes in that one. Likewise, shiver on there. It's on. Push it back in place. There we go, it's as easy as that. That's it. Back on. Back on there. Bolts back into place. These gloves are not doing a lot of good now, are they? Up. Make sure 
double check this one. There we go, it's tight. There we go. It's time to put the wheel back on. Sides, right side. 